Hi, this is Abstract Jazz with URM. We're here today with All The Way G. Mr. Marsh, and don't forget it, Young Hustler, 3600 down bottom Catfield, man. We out here. I'm putting on. I'm ready to do my thing, man. Take me to your leaders on the way. It ain't a day set, you feel me? But trust me, it's coming, man. Get ready for liftoff, man. We taking our off out here. This type of Martian is reserved for bosses. Oh. Forever in my mind. Oh. You should have seen it coming, baby. So tell us all the way G, all the way G, um, what, what kind of artist are you? Um, if I had to wrap my hands around anything, I would say an alternative hip hop, you know, I bring a lot to the table aside from just being from Baltimore and wanting to rap, you know, everybody, you know, tends to, to push themselves towards gangster rap because it's, you know, feel me, this, the environment that we live in, you know, so I want to more so break away from the trend, you know, do what I do, what I do, you feel me, and express myself through my music, and I listen to a whole lot of the genres of music aside from rap, so, you feel me, just to wrap it up, I would say it's alternative hip-hop. And okay. yeah, what was your childhood like? How um, was it growing up? To be honest with you, it was completely out of the norm to what you would say out of the typical Baltimore cat, you know what I'm saying? I grew up, I had both my parents in the household, you know, um, I really wasn't outside for real, you know. I was reserved, I went to a private school. You know, I grew up playing tennis as opposed to, you know, typical basketball, football, and all of that, you know. But then, you know, once I got grown, you know, taking care of yourself out here, you feel me, put you in a whole nother predicament, so, you know. But as a kid, you know, I had a good childhood. I can't say, you know, my peoples were strung out or I was forced to go sell drugs or nothing. I can't say that, you feel me? And what kind of music did you listen to? Um, I grew up in a house with a hip-hop head, you know, my older sister, you feel me, that's all she listened to, you know, KRS-One and, you feel me, Wu-Tang, Tupac, you know what I'm saying, so being under, being under her wing, you know, it was just the only thing that was in the house for me to listen to, you know, so once I got on my own and, and really got into music as heavy as, I, as, as heavy as I am, you know, so I just got wrapped around, you know, the whole hip-hop era, you know, um, but I never veered off from listening to rock, listening to alternative, you know. I'm basically a fan of everything but classical music because it doesn't have no kick to it, you feel me? And what made you want to start recording? Um, well, just being a hip-hop head, you know, like the whole freestyle is a part of the culture of hip-hop, you know. So being with my buddies, you know, we get around, you know, get to listen to the music. Everybody wanted to be the next you know, somebody. Even if that wasn't a dream, it was just, it was just always fun to rap, you feel me? Listening to hip hop, it'll make you want to do that. And uh, I was always a fan of writing, you know, putting my thoughts on the paper. So, you know, eventually it got to the point where it was just like, you know, like, this kind of sound hot, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wonder what this would sound like if I actually did record it, you know? And uh, once I started recording and I heard myself, you know, coming through some speakers or something, it was a rap. I already knew where I was going with it, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't no turning back. And what are some of your influences? Um, to be honest, uh, like when it comes to the, once I decided that I was going to you know, make my own music, like, don't get me wrong, I listen to, you know, a lot of other artists, you know, uh, and then a lot of, you know, up and coming artists and stuff like that. But my, my real influences are on my homeboys, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody on this 3600 squad, you feel me? They, they all got the same dream, not necessarily the same hustle, but the same dream, you feel me? So, I'm inspired by seeing people in the same situation I'm in, dealing with the same struggle I'm in, you know what I'm saying, looking for a way out, you feel me, through music, you feel me. So just being around the circle that I'm in, you know, I'm, I'm in a crew of CEOs, you feel me. Everybody's trying to get it on their own, and I appreciate that, you feel me. So just being in that circle alone, you feel me, inspires me to keep doing it. I got to outdo my man, you feel me. Like, that's how I look at it, you feel me. So do you have any up, upcoming mixtapes? Yeah, I do. Uh, take me to your leader. It's about to drop, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm I'm ecstatic about it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I felt like on my first project, I was letting everybody know, you feel me, the type of artist I am. Don't expect the gangster trap rap, you know what I'm saying? And uh, trying to like necessarily push that out there into, you feel me, into Baltimore itself. So now that I got Take Me To Your Leader, it's just more so like I'm comfortable, you know, um, I'm expressing myself. I'm promoting being yourself, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
being original, you feel me, stepping away from the average mold. So um, the date's not set yet, but everything has been finished recording, you feel me? So I'm, I'm ready, I'm anticipating this like tenfold, you know, so take me to your leader, be on the lookout for it, it's coming, I'm telling you. Get ready for liftoff. Okay, so where can people find your music now before that one drops? Well, from the block to the moon, my last mixtape, that's available on uh, Dat Piff. You know, go to Dat Piff, search all the way G, Spaceships and Hip Hop, Volume 1. You know, um, I got a couple videos up on uh, YouTube, you know, videos of me performing. Uh, my first release off of Take Me To Your Leader, which is Deer in Headlights, which is a dope-ass track. You know, go out and check that out. You know, and aside from that, just be on the lookout. It ain't hard to Google my name all the way G, one word. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't hard to find me. I'm out here. One more question. What was one of your standout moments so far? Um, I would say my standout moment would be the release of my first project. You know, um, I dropped it on uh, August 9th, 2012, you feel me? Which is abbreviated for 8912. That's where I'm from, you feel me? Uh, so that meant a lot to me, you feel me? And I feel like that, that keeps the fire spark under my ass to keep pushing this shit, you feel me? Um, I feel like when I dropped that project, my homeboys realized like, you know, like this shit can be done. We can do this too, you feel me? We can really put in and get out off of this, you know what I'm saying? So uh, my biggest standout in Kamoma would have to be the release of, uh, from the block to the moon. It meant a lot to me. I feel like it meant a lot to my homeboys to show them that, you feel me? It's, it's out here. We can definitely go out here and get it. So it meant a lot to me. Most of the time I just want to feel like you care And other times I ask myself what are you even here but what